How to make pie! In this video, <laughs> I'm going to play with this. This is the, the best stylophone that I've ever found. Pocket Maker. A cool uh, skirt thing made out of iPhones. It's got a lot more to it than you might think. As you can read on the on the back. The manual is not in a language I can read. So that sort of sucks. But shout out to Dan Fingerman for something that we're gonna go into uh, soon. First, I think we should, yeah, scratch the surface. <laughs> you can vibrate. You can also, so if you hold shift and you push one of these up or down in volume, it supposedly goes up and down in octave instead. Uh, and you can also just pick a, a vowel. I, ooh, ooh. You can pick. You also have headphone jack and a USB jack. And that's definitely where the magic happens. And that's the shout out to Dan Fingerman. Because what you can do is not be bound through the stringy pen. You can play it with MIDI. So that's really cool. I don't even know if you can play other stylophones with MIDI. Probably like the big ones that exist. Not the, the ones in this size, right? Maybe you can, I don't know. But we're gonna do that. First we should just listen to it, I guess. It's got like a reverb to it. Maybe it's a song. Maybe it's uh, like do re mi. I have other things that just goes do re mi, like this one. Oh, you can go slidey. Maybe I should uh, start a project though, so we have, so we can play it more than just play with it. <laughs> I usually start with drums, though. This is perfect, because this is episode whatever in the series where I make an entire album. I think it's gonna be more obvious which episode it is later, when I put all of these episodes in order. Look forward to me organizing. As of right now, it's episode whatever. So we're gonna start with a drum machine. I'm gonna try to leave a lot of space for Mika, but still, something nice. I like nice. actually turn off the lights and I'm gonna start with just styloing it and then we're gonna try out MIDI functions because I haven't actually done that Add more effects. I have a echo on it, as you can hear. Uh, but maybe playing it through a pedal. Mm -hmm. 
Really, really like it. You could definitely... Actually, let's try meaty stuff before I say anything. It's handly... This is very old and kind of a little bit broken, so I cannot hook up a MIDI keyboard at the same time. So I'm gonna have to make a, a, a mouse click a MIDI track. Most likely Muno. Yeah. Medieval Mika. Ooh. Ooh, actually. Sounds like a shitty electric guitar. There is, once again, shout out to Dan Fingerman, uh, link in the description. There is a program for it where you supposedly can put in like your own lyrics and stuff, maybe. Like you, you text it up so it doesn't stay in this. I read HTML5. I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds kind of cool. But yeah, there's software you can do more with it. But I think this is... This is definitely enough for experimenting. Like building up stuff. And what's especially nice is that this is all dry. Like all of these new ones. Uh, and da -da -da -da. Haven't done anything with those tracks and they si still sound very, very nice. However, I think I'm gonna end it here. This was a small exploration of the Miku Gaken NSX39. It's surprisingly straightforward and very fun to use. I'm gonna add some... Uh, what is this called? Bob Dylan. I'm gonna add some Bob Dylan and then I'm gonna get out of here. So thank you for watching. Uh, please make the price go up way higher. I want to get blamed for uh, existing. Bye. Have a great weekend. Welcome back to after the video. I've already done the entire video, but I found this when I started to clean up. But what is this? Well, this is a sticker thing that you're supposed to put on this. Why do they leave this responsibility to me? It's super, super hard. So this is of course how hot it's supposed to be. Mm, mm, mm. The sticker, as th th that's not the point though. Point is, however, what it says on the sticker. It's got a do re mi mode by pressing shift and vibrato at the same time. <laughs> Very nice. There are other things. Panic, maybe I think Panic might be a song, but it also has like preset mode and user mode. This is gonna take some investigation. Also, while I have you here, might as well show you this. I don't do this in a video either. I just tested this now. Oh, cause I thought of it. Can't believe I didn't think about it in the video. MIDI controller! I'm gonna end it!
began it with just singing in a thing because I sort of thought about a theme for what I want this song to be about and that's like leaving your worries behind you or the ability to leave worries behind you so that's something that I can play around a lot with so I'm gonna sing let's go for YOLO as far away as possible from oh no that's it and now I'm gonna do that because that that's basically like doing a post-it note for me let's go for A surprisingly cool effect. Oh, no. No. Slap your throat, everybody. It's great.